There's a phenomenon I've talked about quite a few times on this channel over the years, and it's a recent development in our species where people will record themselves having an unhinged meltdown, just actually getting video evidence of their worst moment, and openly post it and expect people to be on their side. I understand it's delusion and everyone thinking that they're the main character, so everything they do is justifiable and they're just perpetually morally righteous with every decision they make so they film it expecting to get a bunch of pats on the back and people just really rimming them out for such a great job at handling confrontation or whatever but it's just still so weird to me that this is so common and that's of course what today's video is on it's a woman who's having a conniption just blowing a gasket going ballistic at a man and his dog outside of their business and she gets out her phone for that little recording buff. Tie your fucking dog up, you fucking piece of shit. What are you? Are you even white? You're not white, huh? We're about to fucking you fucking dumb shit, like you just called me. Zoinks, Scoob. This one fell apart real quick. She only got one sentence out before immediately devolving into some racism. Dropping a go back to your country line. That's a 10-yard penalty right off the rip. I mean, that, that's, that's a technical foul. Like, my God. And she's recording herself doing this. Supposedly to post on Facebook or somewhere, or maybe she's streaming it on Rumble, like God only knows. She is filming this moment herself for the cringe compilation, proudly, and then still going through with all of the stupid shit she's saying and is about to do. Now, the man is also filming her. This is another very common interaction in this day and age where one person's filming, so then to counterbalance it, the other person starts filming. It's kind of like in Dragon Ball Z when they have, like, the the beam battle, the beam struggle, so, like, a Kamehameha wave mixing with, like, a Gallic gun or some shit, and it's, like, going back and forth. That's what it's like in modern day with confrontation, where two people start filming each other, and it's this war of attrition for who's gonna break first, or have a cancelable moment. It's it's just a tug of war. Everything is filmed all of the time. So all of these arguments usually don't even take place face to face anymore, even though it's in the real world. They'll immediately bring out their phone and argue with the phone that's looking at the person. So that's always kind of goofy. Now in the words of the great Shrek, he said, public freakouts are like an onion. They have many layers. And that couldn't be more true for this video because the lady here, I actually think, has a real reason to be upset. She's just going about the whole situation in the worst possible way. She's mad because the man and his dog are outside and the dog is not on a leash. And I think that's a very real complaint. I really think it's extremely irresponsible and shitty dog ownership to have your dog be unleashed in public. That's not only dangerous for the dog, where it could just run away, get hit by a car or something, but it's dangerous for everyone around you if your dog, you know, maybe goes after another dog, uh, goes after a person, and the dog in this video is a pit bull. So that amplifies the danger of it even more so. Go try your fucking dog up now, you piece of shit! Bring your dog inside! Tie him up! You cannot do that! You can't keep him out here! You're entertaining. At least I'm pretty sure it's a pit bull, but I'm not a fucking dog whisperer, I'm not a connoisseur of dog breeds, it just, it looks like a pit bull, but regardless, even if it's not, again, I still feel all dogs should be on a leash when they're in public around people, just for the safety of not only the animal, but the people as well, just in case. It's always better to err on the side of caution, I feel. Now, back to making fun of Rowdy Ruth for how she's handling all of this. So instead of just asking him to put the dog on the leash or handling it in a different way like maybe just going somewhere else away from the unleashed animal, she starts filming everything and escalating the whole problem and situation, now threatening to call the police to have the dog put down, which is fucking unhinged. Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit! Another thing that it seems to be increasingly common is someone saying, don't touch me, as they're initiating all of the contact. She's coming at him like a linebacker about to sack the quarterback here. 
she charges at the guy and then he like turns and looks at her and I'm assuming kind of like moves her hand away or something is what it looks like when she was the one that actually started the physical component of this whole hoopla. I've seen this kind of shit so many times in videos like this where an argument gets to this point and the person's going wacko mode like they're, they're going goblin so they're like don't touch me as they're like charging at the person or like stop filming me as they're doing everything they can to be in the video like they there was nothing physical happening here until she started it and then gets mad at him for like I, I, defending himself is not even the right word because he didn't even do that. I think all he did was just like move her hand away. If that. Like I'm, I'm only assuming based on the way she responded to everything. crazy now we've reached the climax here the lady peels out like she just got her fifth star in grand theft auto and nearly hits the guy filming and then just floors it just absolutely zooms out as quickly as she can and takes off into the sunset this was probably the most exciting moment of her entire life and now that video is somewhere in a facebook book club group and they're really cheering her on for her bravery and the way she handled everything here when in reality, everyone's now making fun of her because the videos left her weird little echo chamber bubble. Well, actually, her perspective I don't think has, but the video of the whole situation has. There's nothing particularly special about this video. These are a dime a dozen. There's millions of these uploaded every day. So what made me want to talk about this one in particular? Well, because it showcased three different things, all of which I find interesting talking points. The first being this increasing frequency of people filming their own worst moments or filming their own like crimes now for social media clout just this parasite that seems to be infecting the brain of so many who are more than willing to film the absolute most embarrassing moments of their lives and upload it i don't know if she did or not though to be fair i suppose it's very possible she had like a moment of self-reflection a come to jesus moment some clarity where she realized holy shit this is awful, and then deleted it on the spot. But, you know, the damage was done because he was filming it. So we still saw everything that happened. But anyway, th that's just the first thing that I always find interesting about these situations is the person who's very clearly the most unhinged is the one filming it themselves, thinking that they're right. And then the second thing is dogs being off the leash. I'm seeing this a lot as well, where it's becoming ever more common for dog owners to not leash up their pets in public, and I think that is foul. I, I think that is just playing with fire. I really do stand by firmly that every dog in public should be on a leash. No matter how well trained or how sweet and cute the dog is, it is better for everyone if you put the dog on the leash. That's just a PSA to everyone out there. And then the third thing is the lady really did have a reason to be uncomfortable or upset, but then she went way too far and handled it horribly, getting racist out of nowhere, getting physical, and then taken off like she was in the Fast and Furious franchise. Like, being upset about the dog being off the leash is fine. You could have handled it a million other ways besides what she did here. So it's one of those things where when someone does have a, like a reason for being a little perturbed and go hog wild with it, taking things way too far and then just saying some awful shit or doing something that's now indefensible, even though you were at the beginning having a like you know a reason people would agree with you on but yeah anyway that's really about it. Just saw this video come up today and had a few things I wanted to discuss with it. That's it. See ya.